What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Freeform's new limited series, Love in the Time of Corona. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's wrap this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Freeform for granting me the screener to this new show. The title Love in the Time of Corona obviously is kind of a wordplay on that classic novel Love in the Time of Cholera. And as a lifelong fan of romantic comedy, I gotta say that this is as timely and as relevant as it gets. The humor actually hits the spot. The relationship dramas are poignant, and it has a clever way of incorporating all of the things that we've been doing since this pandemic started, including masks, zooms, FaceTime, but it also accurately tackles the sadness that comes with the fact that this pandemic has essentially ruined our 2020 plans. Love in the Time of Corona is a sensible, thoughtful, hopeful, ensemble story that we all need today. Written and executive produced by Joanna Johnson, Love in the Time of Corona is a four-part romantic comedy limited series about the hopeful search for love and connection during this time of quarantine from the early days of the stay-at-home order through the events that ignited the worldwide Black Lives Matter protests. This whole show was filmed using remote technologies and shot in the cast's actual homes. When I heard that they were filming this project during the COVID pandemic, I admit I was skeptical. I understand that if you follow the CDC guidelines, sure, you can pull it off. But there is always that health risks, you know? That, and it usually takes a village on the set to make a show, even if it's just a limited format like this. But if you look at the behind-the-scenes photos of love in the time of corona, you'd be quite impressed by the measures that they took and how exactly they shot the scenes while maintaining safe distance. Except, of course, for the fact that some of the cast are literally physically slobbering all over each other. But there's a perfectly good explanation for that. You see, some of the cast members are actual spouses in real life, like Leslie Odom and Nicolette Robinson, or Gil Bellows and Raya Kilstead, so allowing the few camera crew into their homes solve the logistics problem. And it also helps that they are excellent actors who can beautifully capture and channel the nuances of the feelings and the concerns that we regular folks have about the quarantine. Even though these four stories intertwine, they don't interrupt nor invade each other's spaces, which allows us to care about these characters. And it's amazing that just four very short episodes can encapsulate every stereotypical thing that I love about rom-com. The fling, the heartache, the insecurity, the misunderstanding, and there's even family friction. Yes, it's funny and adorable but it's also reflective and profound. Developing or maintaining relationships through monitor screens or iPads is not the same as direct human contact, but it's not impossible. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to whether or not we are willing to open our hearts for the other person. The objective remains the same. And I think this show does a hell of a job of driving that home. 